Hello and welcome everyone to the Node Concept. I am SD and with me Shubham from Blenderfile and today we are going to do is the last node in the color tab which is the light fall off and uh, you know basically it doesn't have a single light output but it's still kept over there I don't know why but uh, uh, right so we don't use it uh, well I don't know if you or other great artists use it or not but I use it uh, for <coughs> sorry so uh, I use it for uh, the lamp so we want to convert this to a spot lamp so I saw this trick somewhere I don't remember but let's just do that again so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, reposition this and decrease down the size like that and get it switched over there and you don't need a commentary on what I'm doing you just figure out uh, Okay, and then grab up, okay, add in an array modifier, so actually I want to like a scale representing how much uh, the light is falling on an object, that's why, that's why I'm making this, and let's just take it, okay. alright, so we have our scene ready over here, and let's just get it down, okay, alright, so nice-ish, and uh, just a bit. Hey, the phone is ringing. <laughs> As usual. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we just uh, select the lamp and go down over here, object. And yeah, make sure your lamp is selected and it, it will be having a lamp output and an emission. And what we are going to do is control shift A, I mean press shift A. <laughs> And go to the color tab and add in the light fall off node. Okay, so as you can see, it has no color input or output, but it's still kept over there. I don't know why, but you know, it's just it just cannot be added into any of the group. You know, I don't know where to keep this actually. So it just does. They just put it over here. All right. So, uh, it gives three outputs which are quadratic, uh, linear and constant. These are actually a blend type between the maximum and minimum value which is determined by the strength. So, a strength uh, having a value is the maximum strength that is actually possible over there. So, and there is a smooth value, we'll be showing this shortly. So, firstly let's just uh, connect the quadratic to the strength and let's go to here and press shift set. Okay, I need to turn down the world setting as well. Cool. Alright, so now you can see there is nothing. <laughs> so, basically, a uh, lamp is having a default of 100. And it's actually not quite visible. You can see a little bit over there, but you need to have really high value. So, something like 9 or like uh, 2000. It's still, you know, you don't see it go down to the bottom. Right, so, uh, in... Uh, general the default trend which is of this I mean the fall off of light is quadratic so if I just connect it over here and make the trend do thousand you okay right so this is as same as this one so there is no difference at all alright and uh, the strength is actually giving it a strength and the quadratic is a blend type which is really smooth follow between 0 and 1 I mean the maximum value which is over here and that's why you see is a real sharp blend and no maximum value at all so you won't be seeing 2000 over here and but you'll be seeing 0 over here <laughs> so it reaches 0 very quickly from a value which is way lesser than the uh, maximum strength Alright, so that is what quadratic does, and basically default is the thing is quadratic, so you just don't need to plug it in there every time. Next is the linear, so linear goes from a uh, strength of 2000 near the top of the lamp, and goes down to zero till this bottom portion over here, which is you know, somewhere like this portion, that circle thing over there. Right, so that is what linear does, and linear goes from 2000, then decreases down step by step to... Uh, 1999, the 98, 97, just like that to zero. So that's 
the linear fall off. Hey, oh yeah, that's called fall off, not blend. <laughs> All right, so next is the constant. So constant uses only the maximum value, that is 2000 in this case, and you can see everything over here on our scale, every place is white as equal as here and here. So that is what uh, the constant light fall off is doing, right? Next comes the smooth, uh, and the smooth actually doesn't work with the constant that much. Uh, what it does is it tries to uh, equalize. Oops, sorry. It tries to equalize the brightness and uh, remove a very sharp highlight, which in example I'll just show you. Let's just add in a plane and it up. Bring this down somewhere like this. And now we should see. Ta -da. Okay, let's just get a bigger size. Alright, so um, let's just connect the quadratic over here and get a really high strength, something like 8,000. Or maybe it's a bit more, 20,000. That should do. Okay. I guess I'll go with a bit more number. <laughs> Let's go 50,000. So you can see it requires really big number to give sharp lighting. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> 25,000. That should do. Okay, so now you can see this over here is a really bright spot, and I'll just hide this one. Okay, and over here is a you know, nice blended color. So what it does is actually uh, the smooth value over here is trying to get uh, the color, uh, I mean the brightness over here equalized so every place should be getting an equal color and the smooth value tries to do that so as I am increasing the smooth value you can see that bright spot is now removed and we have a nice soothing color, uh, soothing lighting over there so it's just not uh, breaking our eyes and it's good to look at so it's looking way better than something like zero <laughs> Right, so it's like really sharp reflection of sun or something. Right, same is the case with linear as well. Ooh, that's, oh, that's too bright. Okay, let's see. And let's just get done strength. <laughs> it's too much. It's still too much, I don't know. Hmm. 100. Let's go 600. Okay, that's looking quite good, actually. So, uh, the smooth value, as uh, same you can see, you can see the difference over here near the cursor. The light is too sharp, and the smooth is actually smoothing this down. So that's looking nice, and that is what the smooth does, actually. So that is basically what quadratic fall off, or uh, light fall off does. Sorry. Okay, and I read on the online manual that the maximum strength which a uh, light fall off will give is actually the, uh, the strength uh, which is given divided by the smooth value and by default the smooth value is set to zero but then that means a strength divided by number zero I mean any number divided by zero is like infinity or not defined actually so uh, Blender what it does is it takes a value really small and very close to zero but not exactly zero so that's done in internally you know by Python scripts and all that things <laughs> so you don't need to care about that. You can just keep this mode to zero. That's just for you know, nerdy people gathering information, so things like that. Alright, so that is basically the light fall off node, and I hope you learned something. And in our next tutorial, we'll be starting on with the converters, and the biggest converter of them is, well, not the biggest, I don't know. I don't know either, but it's really used a lot, so it's really awesome node. It's the math node, and We'll go through it in our next tutorial. It's uh, it's a small note, but it you know is capable of getting one single tutorial, so it cannot be clubbed. <laughs> All right, so uh, subscribe to stay tuned to watch those videos, and you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com/blenderfile. And we hope to see you in our next video. Till then, happy blending and ta-da!